Ladies and Quita, and welcome back to Sin. Smart, intelligent news. And this is the stream where, of course, we bring geekery to society. That's just how it goes. Okay, and I would say the last episode, it seemed to me that, I don't know, you guys were getting upset and everything like that about me talking about like flirting tips and stuff like that so what i'm gonna do right off the bat is i'm gonna give a disclaimer and this will be the first and the last time that i'm actually gonna be talking about this and and here's the bottom line okay first off i i am someone that's a realist i'm someone that i like to present content in a real and raw and honestly a very candid way so if you are the type that are very sensitive if you are the type that does not like diversity topics if you are the type that's heck not even interested in a person of color talking then don't waste your time and there are plenty of other streams here on twitch that you can enjoy watching because i don't want to waste anybody's time however at the same time I am no longer going to apologize for the type of content that I produce, you know, this type of stuff that I bring um, to you as my audience. If you're coming to this stream, you know the expectations and you know what this is about. So for those of you who are new, let me just clarify a couple of things before we get into our game, which is Tree of Savior. So we're continuing where we last left off. Plus, we have a new segment called MMO Roulette where pretty much I will just pick a random, whether it's an MMO or just a, a, a just a random game and just you'll see my reactions. We're going to have fun and play it. So I'll give a hint and in the comments uh, uh, below, uh, well, I'll give a hint to the next game that I'm playing. Okay, that, yeah, that's, that's a better way to go. So the next game that I'm going to be playing is a mystery and let's just say it is one it, well it was a classic cartoon on cartoon network and very funny also another hint it was part of the adult swim so in the comments below or even in the chat room below or us uh, uh, well on twitch i would say on uh the right hand side um give me some hints of what you think the game is and i'll tell you whether it's a yes or a no so we'll have fun with that too uh, but you know what? I'm, that's just how I am. I am someone that's real. I am someone that gives honest opinions. I am someone that is not afraid to talk about topics that people often consider to be, I would say, maybe overlooked or topics that are considered to be taboo, per se. Um, so, And when I mean taboo, it's stuff requiring intellect. So that's what I'm about, okay? So if you don't like that, don't watch this stream. I am not going to be playing babysitter anymore because many of you come from all different age ranges, especially if you're a grown person. If you don't like something that you that I'm doing or if you see or whatever, don't waste your time. Okay, so enough of that tomfoolery. Let's talk also about the juicy topic of today. And we are talking all about black Friday and Black Friday deals for all of you social geeks and social nerds out there because I am sick and tired of all these socially awkward geeks out here. It's time for us to feel, you know, to be liberated and to be liberated. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. Let's let's play Tree of Savior and then throughout I will be talking all about these deals and Black Friday and all that. But let's catch up with some Riot Talk, shall we, as I am walking along here. But my friends, let me tell ya, it, <laughs> oh my gosh, it, it's just, you know, it's been absolutely crazy, my friends, you know, I, I, I mean, my job, it's like I'm getting less and less and less hours, it's like insane, how, like, I just look at my schedule now and I laugh, because it's just ridiculous. And it's like, I've put so much effort and work into what I do, you know, and nobody appreciates what I do. And here's the thing, it's, just, it's not me complaining, but I know many of you hopefully work and you're not spoiled brats out there. And I think you know exactly, like, what I mean. Okay, so let's lure the baby. 
Oh, and it started running somewhere else. So we have to lure these baby whatever plow nose, whatever the heck. Alright. There we go. Slash! Oh, oh, no you don't. I'm gonna get you, you little punk. Those things are really fast though. Hey viewer, how are you? Welcome to the stream. We are playing a hopefully not a laggy version of Tree of Savior. But one thing I have to say about this game, guys, it is beautiful. Alright. Alright, so it's remember something has started running somewhere. Okay, let's see. Huh. That's interesting. But, no, I mean, honestly, guys, it's just been crazy. I know many of you work and, you know, understand. Don't you get tired of being screwed over, you know? It's super annoying. Like, who wants to feel that way, you know? You put in all this effort and then people just, you know, they crap on your parade. And, yeah, it's just been kind of a bummy time for me in regards to that. But I don't let that bring me down. I say screw it, you know. If people don't want to, you know, take me as I am, that is their loss, to be honest with you. It really is their loss, you know. And I, that's how you really have to think of life sometimes is that, you know, don't let people bring you down. Just know that you're, you know, you're better. And you can do better for yourself, you know? It's just absolutely crazy to me and blows my mind how people don't give themselves the confidence that they deserve, you know? And so many of us do this to ourselves. We put ourselves down. We compare ourselves to other people, you know? And I mean, there are some times where, yeah, it's good to, you know, be in, you know, you, you look at similarities or, you know, maybe possibly be inspired. But I don't compare myself anymore because I know I am one hottie patati. <laughs> no, I am absolutely ridiculous, guys. So, well, we got these, uh, we got animals and pets and crap. Like, what the heck? All right, so let's see where the heck we're supposed to be going here in the first place. All right, so we got a couple of places we need to go. Uh, so the first one, we're supposed to meet the Paladin Master. And then, so, you know what? Screw this area. Let's let's keep moving, guys. Let's keep rocking and rolling here. So, pardon me here for showing the map, but I'm just trying to show you all features of this game. And I have a really interesting update in regards to Tree of Savior. It's, it's just Tree of Savior closed beta, guys. It's such a blessing for me to even be playing this right now. There are so many people who are deprived of this game, and that's why I've been playing it a lot. Because I know many of you have been, like, complaining about why I haven't been playing anything else. Ooh, excuse me. I try to give a full scope when it comes to the game. Oh my gosh. I am, like, having hiccups. We got a cutscene here. Whoa, who is this debonair of a man? What are his digits? Yeah, as you can see, I like older guys, right? So, he is, yeah, okay. You want to have a word with me? Yeah, let's go. You can have many words with me. <laughs> no kidding, no, it's horrible. Horrible. Okay, so, if it's all okay, here are the details. All right, so we explained the details. I like that this is, like, explaining details. Like, that's good. That's so good. I like his cape and his armor. Ooh, man. It gets the people going! Alright, there we go. Alright, sweet. Sorry I'm like yelling into the mic today. I'm just like had it today. You know, uh, it's it, it's just been really frustrating. And then I have, you know, then of course with my work too. Don't you hate it when you have to see someone that you that doesn't even care about you so like I had to deal with that today too and it's like everybody else likes this particular person right oh it's so frustrating and like nobody likes me at all it's just you know I hate to be a complainer but let me tell you my friends it is very very frustrating okay so I think we should be going up this way all right, let's see. Let, let's get on this cable cart here. Are we, are we going to move here? Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Cable cart! Cable car! Okay, there we go. Isn't that sweet, guys? That, I mean, graphically, this game 
is on point. I mean, I've never seen something so just lush and beautiful and just wonderful, you know? So now we are going to the Neferous Hill to talk to the Paladin Master. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, sweet. But yeah, man, that's literally what I deal with. Just tons of just BS and it's just horrible. And I'm constantly being compared to other people all day long. It's like, you know, sometimes it's like I just want to go to my job, right? And then just feel like I'm part of something, like feel like I'm included. And it's like for most of the, most of this time, I have not felt like I have been included. Oh, that sucks. Oh, so we got a couple quests here. So we got a, uh, all right, yeah, I'll help if it's simple. Wow, I'm such a dick for saying that. All right, let's keep going here. And then we have out of time. Okay, so we have to charge the demon souls instead. Ooh, experience, that's a good thing. All right, let's get that. All right, and you're counting on me. And if there's any sound problems or something in chat, please do let me know because then I can tweak the settings so it's right so you guys can hear me and I, you can hear the game and all that. So that's pretty sweet as well. Okay, let's keep going up here. Let's keep rocking and rolling. All right, so we're picking up the destroyed berry piece and we got some enemies. Oh, really? Is that how we're going to rock and roll today, guys? Is that how we're going to go? All right, let's see here. Ah, I hate that. That's the only thing I don't like about Tree of Savior. You would think for a game that, oh, you want to evade me? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. Oh, I totally missed that. That was a huge biff for me. I like the fact that a hummingbird is attacking me. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay. Well, since this enemy completely likes to be a dick, who got time for that? So let's continue looking up these destroyed berry pieces. All right, seriously, I am I'm fed up now. Watch my wrath. There we go. There we go. All right, so we have a new enemy to our adventure journal. Sounds very kinky. Like, you want to see my adventure journal? Yeah. All right, so we got some more, and here's another one. We got to collect five of these bad boys. But the only thing I like about the game, though, is it does show you where they're located. So it just makes it a little bit easier. I know many of you like a challenge. I know many of you do. But sometimes I don't like a challenge in my games sometimes. It's like sometimes I just want to play. Like, I don't have to deal with any tomfoolery or anything like that. So let's get build up here. We're fully, fully charging. Uh, okay, let's go back. Ah, shoot. I hate banshees, man. What? This thing is being a complete dick. Okay, there we go. So we have a new enemy, which would be the banshee. Let's check our map here and see where the heck am I going. Alright, there we go. So we're going this way. And then, uh... Oh, oh. All right, let me check D here. Let's fully charge this up. And we also get level 2, which is pretty sweet, though. But yeah, I've just been feeling a little bit underappreciated. That is exactly how I've been feeling. Not even lying. Like, uh, it's, it's just, you know, it's like you've worked so hard. And then, you know, the worst thing is, which is a real pain in your butt, is when you've worked your butt off and then somebody else gets a promotion over you and they haven't even been there as long as you have, you know? And it's really frustrating. It's like, you know, I've put in all this work and I'm, I've, you know, I've been paying my dues and, you know, I'm, you know, I take the responsibility to go above and beyond what I'm supposed to be doing. And then you know what happens? You get, you still get screwed over. Isn't that really crappy, man? It's so crappy. I can't tell you. It, it just feels absolutely awful. Okay, so we have a boss here. And this thing is not letting me have a day. There we go. So we need to defeat the demons. But before I do that, I'm sitting my butt down. 
get some MP here. This stupid thing is probably going to be attacking me. So that's okay because we're going to finish it off. All right. I like that sound of destroying things. All right, there we go. So we're going to wait and let our, our MP and HP kind of recover a little bit. So while that's going on, we're going to go into the first part of our juicy topic of the day, which is Black Friday deals. Everybody and their mama has been talking about Black Friday. I am so sick and tired of people talking about Black Friday. It is not that big of a deal. It is not that serious. People are waiting outside right now camping outside to get something that you could probably get that same price all through the year i hate to spoil the ball sack here or spoil your bubbles here but honestly all black friday is it's an advertising campaign to get people to go crazy for basic stuff stuff that you can get online and i'm going to show you guys some of the best things that you can get both in store and probably too online if you're smart enough and know how to use the interweb okay so let's take a look at this here well first let's get into tree of savior news first and then we'll look at that so tree of savior and this is coming from news.mmosite.com tree of savior to launch 53 playable classes in open beta currently both the korean and international versions of tree of savior only after 40 can only offer pardon me 44 playable classes but soon you will be able to try more classes according to news from step aru Korean server of Tree of Savior is going to have a total of 53 playable classes in the upcoming open beta next month. So G Star, which is a really cool like convention, um, they did show some of like they showed some of the look at the diff the four different classes in the game, which is really cool. So I'll post the link on my YouTube channel. You can check it out, of course, youtube.com slash user. Oh, well, thank you. She was so nice to heal me. See, people can be nice in this game. Now, all I need to do is to find a nice team speak group for Tree of Savior, but I haven't found any. There are tons for Diablo 3. There are tons for um, all the other type of games that are out there, but I think since this is a pretty, pretty new game internationally, it may take some time. And I'm also tired of dealing with dicks, you know? Where are the nice gaming guys for a change? Where are the nice geeks? Where are the nice, like, nerds? You know, there's nothing wrong being nice. Like, just because your friend is a jerk-off, that doesn't mean that you have to be a jerk-off. Just saying. Just saying. So, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Tree of Savior overall, to me, I feel is a very solid game. Um, if you like games, of course, like Latale, Ragnarok Online. Um, if you would like a game that was supposed to be like Ragnarok Online 2, you're going to love Tree of Savior. That 2D meets 3D, that fluid combat, multiple weapons, multiple classes. Um, I love the Highlander class so far. I've, I've really been enjoying it. But yeah, I thought that was a really interesting tidbit. And hola! Hey, my friend. And como estas? Uh, y tu? See, I know not too much Spanish. I need to start learning different languages. I really wanted to learn how to speak Spanish, um, Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. I can sing in... Um, I'm not sure if it's Cantonese or Mandarin, um, but I love this song by Coco Lee. It's called A Love Before Time, and I can sing um, like majority of the songs. Like If you give me a song to sing in a different language, I can try it and do it. You know, it's fun. But <laughs> dicks are good. Hey, man, I don't discriminate. Nothing wrong with that. Get what you need. Get what you need. But how are you doing? So we have Mo Real Talk. Real talk, and I'm a real talker too, right? All right, so let's rock and roll here since I have replenished dime strength. All right, we got some more banshees here and crap. Let's let's level this up here. Bam! All right, the, actually, these enemies are stronger than what I actually thought. Let's see here. I'm gonna try G. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really jacked up. Banshees 
can freeze you. All right, so you need to kill these things immediately. Uh, no lie. Okay, so I got my boost here, but I can't use it yet. This really, really sucks. Wow. Okay, pardon me here. Usually I'm not this upset. I just think I've just been having a dookie day. Okay, so this is what a dookie day is, okay? A dookie day is when people are just crapping on your parade all day, you know? And, like, that's how I feel about Black Friday, too. There are so many ungrateful pricks in this world who can't even appreciate that they're getting something decent in their life, you know? And, like, they just... They love it because, you know, and this is not to say that all people of higher, you know, classes act this way. But let me tell you how it pisses me off how people are so ungrateful. Especially during a time when, um, you know, not everybody. There are people around the world who are not even able to afford a gaming system. Or there are people who have to go to, like, for example, in South Korea or in most places in other parts of the world. Uh, but particularly in South Korea, they have these places called PC Bond. And it's pretty much a place where people can go to, you know, play their games. Because some of them can't even afford a computer. So all these things that we take for granted in America, guys, seriously, we need to appreciate it more. I'm just saying. Just saying. So let's keep rocking and rolling with these hummingbirds here. I, I'm just ready to just... See, and the problem is... Let me tell you, my friend. It's crazy. Like... You know, it's just annoying how you have you have to like regenerate the game. Like it's like what? It's it's crazy. Okay, so all right, so we have to kill these demons to um, recharge the um, the actual barrier here, which is good. All right, there we go. I do not like these banshees, though. I'll tell you that. Boom. Whoop. Oh, and they leave these little, like, stink bombs, which is pretty much their indigestion. Kind of horrible here. All right, let's keep resting here. I need, I need to get some better, like, MP potions, um, you know, that type of stuff. But, yeah, there's a lot of ungrateful fools in this world, and let me tell you how much that pisses me off. So, the biggest news that came out just a couple days ago, not even that old, really... Uh, yeah, a couple days, like maybe two, three days ago. Let me tell you. So, what's been going on is that Blade and Soul, finally, after all of the... May who knows how many people have complained. It's like, just give us a date already. I understand you gotta taunt and tease and pull and nick and tuck and do all that type of stuff. But I was really, really excited to find out, and this is coming from GameSpot.com that Blade and Soul finally gets a Western release date. Publisher NC Soft West has announced the release date of the anticipated of its anticipated MMO Blade and Soul. The game will be launching in North America and Europe on January 19th, 2016 at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So here's the bonus, though. I know many of you complaining. Oh, I never buy a Founders Pack. <laughs> boo, 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 ka -choo. And all this other stuff. Here's the thing about the Founders Packs within Blade and Soul. Not only do you get certain things that will give you an advantage over other players, per se. Um, but the nice thing with the Founders Pack in this case is you get to start earlier than the even anticipated release date. So if you have a Founders Pack, you get a head start. You start playing on January 15th. They said first quarter, thank goodness that it was not going to come out in like February or March or else it would have lost its traction. So it was very smart for NCSoft to come out with this game now all we need is so i believe the game's called soul worker it's in korea it is absolutely amazing and we also need to get train crashers out here they have a canadian version but they still haven't come out with the stupid like american version yet i hate how sometimes like in america it just takes forever for us to get the swag that we need you know oh my gosh malarkey it's so annoying there we go. Alright, so there's that classic bridge there. Yes, I said classy. 
All right, let's see here. What the? All right, so this is a demon summoning circle. Okay, so there we go. Keep rocking and rolling here. I really just don't like these attacks. Like, I feel like weak, you know? It's just, I think I'm gonna combine them to, whoa, that was no joke. Okay, so let, yeah, let's combine attacks here. All right, so we have the Deadborn Scout Musician, a uh, magician, magician, musician. He uses his flute to destroy his enemies. No, that's horrible. All right, bum. See, I'm trying to get more overkills here because I am trying to level up here, okay? Like, that is my life right now. All right, there we go. I just wish we could get a basic attack where it doesn't use MP because let me tell you, Oh, so I got a kitchen knife. That, that sounds like a plan. All right, let's keep rocking and rolling here. Okay, so I don't have enough. And see, here's the problem when you don't... But see, I don't know. Maybe it's the armor I'm using, but I'm finally starting to get, uh, I think, a quicker growth uh, or regrowth with my MP. Wow, there's a lot of demons going on in here, man. This is no joke, y'all. This is crazy. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so... Okay, so we have to charge the barrier with demon souls. So maybe I need to come back over here. Alright, I think I have to do one more. But... Ah, oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, sorry guys. This, this is a very tedious and long process. So... Okay, so overall... Yeah, I'm really excited for Blade and Soul. And, you know, Blade and Soul has been out in quite some time. So it was launched in Asia in 2013. So I just hate when it takes so long. I understand, you know, they got to make sure they get the proper budget and advertising. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. But, like, a game like this that's so anticipated, they should not have waited this long. Because it, it's, a good, it's a really good game. Now, some people have been complaining about the storyline. Um, many people have been complaining about Tree of Savior too, which is kind of funny. But here's the thing: most of the people who complain about games are just trying to complain to get attention. It's just a bunch of like what they call it, like attention whoring. Yeah, that's the term. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on with it. Uh, so, Blade and Soul was hugely successful in Asia when it when it first launched in 2013, and it actually reported hitting 1.8 million coherent users within the year in China and this is coming from um, Engadget which you know that's from via Engadget so I'm paraphrasing the article here um, but by comparison Blizzard's World of Warcraft hit 1 million subscribers in North America and Canada after a year like that's just cr I don't tell me guys what's the big deal about WoW and Fallout 4 and all these games like it just I just hate games that are so highly, like, sometimes so highly anticipated. Now, I know, yes, Tree of Savior is too, but, like, it's not at that, it's, I mean, it's at the same level, but it's not at the same level as, like, Fallout 4. And, like, from looking at the videos and stuff, I'm like, isn't this, like, the previous Fallouts? Like, it just looks all the same to me. It's, like, Grand Theft Auto, for example, too. I don't know why people, they just buy them all. It's, like, what? Like, is there anything really... Um, remotely special perhaps I mean I don't know it is kind of uh, it really perplexes my mind a little bit ah no oh my battery was dying on my other uh, computer here which is annoying um, let me uh, one moment here guys I'm like plugging it in here because I don't want it to die and then you guys would miss me well, I'm not sure many of you miss me anyway, because y'all, some of you guys can be ratchet, not going to lie. <laughs> no kidding, I'm joking. JK, JK, JK. But yeah, so that's going to be really interesting to see um, what features, you know, they're going to bring. And so far, there are 30 dungeons, a level cap of 45, and a one-on-one -on -one, uh, arena as well. So, if you are interested in a Founders Pack for Blade and Soul, please make sure you go get one. Uh, it's highly, it's very, very, very worth it. So, let's continue here. Apparently, we need to uh, fight more, um, 
Okay, it says help Watcher Allen defeat the demons around the tree guard. So this, so I'm pretty much, I don't know. I'm not seeing anymore. Oh, there's one. All right, so we got that there. All right, sorry guys. I had to take care of something for my mom here. I'm going to have to cut my stream short and I will have to come back um to to finish up what we need to finish up here. Um but for some reason I don't know why. Oh yeah, here's another one. All right, so let's try this here. Boom. See, your the accuracy of this game is atrocious. Like, it's absolutely atrocious. Like... Like, do you see that? Like, my... I have to work on my... Like, my aim. Like, my aim is really, really bad. Okay. And sorry for that interruption, guys. I'm really, really sorry, but I had to take care of something. Okay, let's see here. Come on. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. I think, boom, okay. So, we are good to go there. All right, so. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. I am going to be right back. This was something that we should have done earlier today, but you know how that goes. So I will be back and uh, yeah, we'll continue here with Tree of Savior and more Black Friday tomfoolery. So remember guys to get smart and stay informed. Be back soon.